I'm Sherry Boschert reporting for Global Medical News Network at the annual Congress of the European Society of Cardiology. I'm here with American Heart Association President Dr. Gordon Tomaselli. The Prodigy trial looked at the duration of dual antiplatelet therapy after stent implantation and found that 24 months is really no better than six months in efficacy, but there was a higher rate of stroke and uh, transfusions. So what's the implications of this in terms of practice in the U.S.? So um, I think that uh, what we've been uh, confused about a little bit is the incidence of late stent thrombosis and drug-eluting stents. Um, all the original studies looking at the duration of antiplatelet therapy, and there haven't been all that many, um, used uh, bare metal, a bare metal stent platform. And uh, out of a couple of well-designed clinical trials, it became clear that at least a month and pr optimally 12 months of dual antiplatelet therapy was required for bare metal stent deployment to prevent late stent thrombosis. The same studies really hadn't been done until recently with drug-eluting stents. And there had been some concern because um, there, although these drug-eluting stents did much better in terms of early stent thrombosis, there was a signal that there may be an increase in late stent thrombosis, that is, many months after the stent deployment. And it's a rare complication, but it can be a devastating complication, including uh, producing death and uh, large myocardial infarction. So the real question became, what do we do with patients who have drug-eluting stents with the duration of dual antiplatelet therapy? And the recommendation from the update of, the, of our guidelines in 2007 suggested a minimum of six months and uh, optimally at least 12 months of dual antiplatelet therapy for patients who had drug-eluting stents, although that was not based on randomized clinical trial data. The Prodigy study actually looked at this, and it was a four-by-two randomization, so four different types of stents, everolimus eluting stents, paclitaxel eluting stents, serolimus eluting stents, and bare metal stents. And at 30 days, the patients were randomized to either six months of dual antiplatelet therapy or 24 months of dual antiplatelet therapy. And as you stated, the late complication rate was no different between the, the groups randomized to 24 versus six months in terms of thrombosis, although, as one might predict, the rate of hemorrhage was greater in the patients who got longer duration therapy. I think this may, with other studies that are ongoing looking at the same question, may prompt another, yet another revision of the guidelines for the duration of antiplatelet therapy in people who get drug-eluting stents. Meanwhile, if, while we're waiting for perhaps the guidelines to be revised, would you advise that clinicians really not go out to 24 months with the dual therapy? or? I, I think we need to look at this all in the context of, uh, of all the trials that, uh, that get published addressing this question. And certainly, perhaps 24 months is not, is, is not necessary, but I, I would hesitate right now until the data are looked at. Um, to, to, to go against the guidelines that currently exist, six to 12 months. I think we optimally try to keep people on dual antiplatelet therapy who've had drug-eluting stents for a year. Uh, again, I, I wait to see in the context of the other studies how and whether the guidelines are going to change, but it looks like two years of dual antiplatelet therapy increases the risk of bleeding without necessarily improving uh, late long-term outcomes with respect to stent thrombosis.